class nine, as you know that we have to start with the extra questions of the chapter remembering the storm in summer. Okay. So we have read this chapter and we have come to know about the leadership qualities of a 19-year-old boy whose name was Prashant. Okay, so now further we are going to discuss some extra questions. Yesterday I have given you okay, one or two questions. So why do Prashant and other volunteers write down questions? Why do Prashant and other volunteers resist the pain? It is almost the same one actually. That why he was not ready to set up institutions for the for the you can say other people. Or write down question describe the devastation caused by super unknown. The devastation caused by a super cyclone. So this we have discussed yesterday also, almost in the other manner, that what has happened, everything was covered with brown sheet of water, dead body of animals, animal carcasses or animal corpses, they were floating over water. Okay, this I have discussed. Okay. So next is, how did Prashant save his life and what was blessing in disguise? Blessing in disguise for him. How did Prashant save his life? How did Prashant save his life? Yes, who will speak? The super cyclone had caused a lot of devastation in the region. Uh, and uh, they were uh, stranded on the, in their house and water had entered uh, neck deep. So they had to move uh, upstairs on the roof. Uh, it was a blessing in disguise for him that there was a coconut tree which had fallen on their house. Uh, whose uh, fruit, whose uh, fresh coconuts had uh, helped them survive for the next four days. Prashant was panic stricken. He, uh, the grief that he might have lost his family uh, was consuming him. Uh, and the, the panic, the sheer that the uh, grief, the uh, sheer de devastation caused by the cyclone had taken uh, him back. Uh, they were stranded on the rooftop for the next 36 hours. Yes, 36, 36 hours, it is, I think, two days almost. Okay, it is almost two days, right? 
will write down students are still at so how did prashant feel on the rooftop after when he broken he was uh, his tears they were also wiped out by the rain drops and he was feeling that uh, everything is going to be destroyed and he was also afraid that the same kind of devastation or the grief that that he suffered seven years ago now he is again going to uh, suffer from that kind of bereavement and it is because of this reason what he felt he felt that he was afraid actually that he should not uh, lose his family again and moreover he stayed there for almost two days okay so next question is students are still on the why did the shams part of covid why did Why did Prashant's heart go cold when he reached his village? When he reached his, what happened? Why did his heart go cold when he reached his village? What happened? reaching his village prashant saw, saw that uh, his village had met with the same fate uh, it was de devastated and uh, uh, everything was broken uh, he saw his house was not in its place and their belongings were stranded and uh, stranded on the branches of the tree he feared that his fam uh, he might have lost his family forever actually he was afraid that he is going to face the loss of his family as he has seen the complete destruction on the Uh, part or he is he has seen the complete destruction that has taken place on the uh, on his journey that animal carcasses human corpses they were floating on the water and ultimately what he was afraid he was also afraid as he has seen the belongings of the family they were mangled upon the trees right they were mangled upon the trees and now the houses all the ninety six houses in the village they have completely been uh, broken and he was afraid that he is not going to find his family members again okay. So uh, next question is, what was the miracle for Shams family and why was it considered? Considered as a miracle. Who will see? Yes. Why was it considered as miracle? Yes. Why was it considered as miracle? Uh, it was a miracle for Prashant's family to see him alive. They believed that he was dead and would uh, would they would never get a chance to see him. Uh, it was considered a miracle for the same reason that he might be gone for ever right. because they were afraid that they are not going to find uh, you know they will never send prashant again but what happened it was all together the miracle that he was he reached safe to the red cross shelter and there when his grandmother and another grandmother had seen him she outstretched her hands in this manner And there were tears brimming up her eyes, and she was feeling completely, you can say, deep in love that the beloved son has returned back and finally this word spread in the entire shelter that the son was back. Actually, they have lost all the hope that whether it will be uh, possible for them to see ever, to see him ever. Okay, so this is the reason why he was thinking so. Okay. So this is all about this chapter. Uh, we bring the storm in Prasanna. So many questions, extra questions we have discussed, and I don't think so. Now you have any problem? That's fine, students. Is it okay to you all? Just tell me. Yes, so or no? It's fine, right? Okay. <coughs> I hope that complete chapter is clear to you. Now we are going to start with the next chapter. The name of the chapter is Last Moon. Last Moon. Very very beautiful chapter. So now, now 
the last name. Have you ever read this story or seen ever the picturization of a story that a girl suffering from some disease and she has related her illness with that of a small creeper that was growing outside the window of her house. She thought when the last leaf on this creeper would fall, she would, that would be the last day of her life. Has anyone read this story ever? Or heard about this story? Dia, yes, Dia is saying yes. Okay, Dia, now tell me where you have read. The meat, yes. Mam, in our previous uh, years, uh, literature, literature book. Which Ma'am, it was not from NCRT. Okay. Okay, you have Ma'am, my brother spoke this story, the storytelling competition. Okay. Yes. Ma'am, it was organized in it was organized in the school. Ramadas Public School and he got the prize. So, you remember how you have narrated that story? You remember a bit? Ramik, do you remember? Okay, don't mute yourself. Just speak for a while. Let me listen. Yeah. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Start speaking. Let me listen from you. It was the story of John C. and Sue, who were artists. They lived in New York City. John C. became ill with pneumonia. Uh, Sue, her friend, was uh, really worried to see the condition of the John C. She went to the Pehrman, who was a painter. She asked her to paint an ivy leaf that would never fall. And uh, Pehrman uh, painted the ivy leaf. While painted the ivy leaf, he got pneumonia and died. But his masterpiece... Uh, saved the life of the John C. and she survived. Why is a masterpiece? The way the thought, the way the idea being presented in this story is very important. Last leaf. In last leaf, it is very much emphasized. How this last leaf it seems to be alive for someone. It seems to be, you can say, it acted as a life saver for her. So, John C. and Sue, the two girls, okay, so they were living alone, both were artists, okay, but the girl, John Z, she has developed a negative thought in her mind. What negative thought that she has seen? And I think people growing on the side of the wall outside the window. She thought she was suffering from pneumonia. But what happened? She has related that thought in her mind to her illness that when the last leaf on that ivy creeper would fall, that would be the last day of her life. So you know it is only it is only the power of mind, it is only the willpower in you that ultimately leads to enjoy your life. If everything is lost, if you tend to think that there is nothing around me, you will not find happiness. You will not get anything. But if you will find, if you will find something original around yourself, yes. If you will find anything around yourself and you will feel yes, this is providing me happiness, you will get happiness out of nowhere. Suppose, for some people, some people see problems as you can say obstructions or as an obstacle in their you can say journey. But to other people, these obstacles, they act as opportunities. They take them as opportunities. They feel that this, yes, this is a chance for me to prove myself. And ultimately what happens? It is only the way you look at life. Sometimes you feel broken to see that no, I'm suffering from lots of problems. But to be positive in life, what, what is to be positive in life? What is the meaning of to be positive? To see positivity in everything around you, to see the reality, what is there 
around you so that you can come to the yes this is actually that okay right so this is life only in which we suffer a lot we have lots of problems we cannot think that anybody's life is perfect because the grass on the other side is always greener one we always think that the other person is very happy he is enjoying all the luxuries he is having but to each and every person there are problems that they are facing every person is facing a problem similarly how can we say that someone's life is perfect it is only our perspective and for the other person who is facing a lot of problems to him we are quite at peace so why there are so many you can say uh so many that say religious gurus what are they always telling us to whatever religion they belong they are always telling us to find peace with inner self they are always telling us to see opportunities in darkness to see the positivity in negativity and according you must have read that book of byron the byron the secrets okay have you ever read just be okay or maybe say yes i know that okay so you must have read in that also that what is this means the universe is working on the law of attraction okay whatever you spread around you will get back if you are spreading love affection and positivity you will come back it is mentioned in that book never think that how it would happen okay and don't doubt that how it would happen just imagine that yes it would happen and definitely it works when i have read that book one uh, person was there and then what he has said that he said that long time back i was imagining my house that my house should be like this like on this side this room on my this side my living room and here that my garden would be there and he said that thought was so strong in my mind that i was really looking at that drawing or that model of my house that was just placed in my house but after many years after you can see he said after 5 to 10 years uh, in his life when he has changed his house what happened he said when i was when i was unpacking my all the things uh, in one of the you can say old box he has found that model of the house that he was living in and then when he has opened that model and he has analyzed his house what he has found he has found that it was exactly the same house that he was thinking that the picture that he has imagined in his mind exactly the same he was having the lawn the same way he was having his drawing room the same way he was having his you can say bedroom and he was very happy to see you can say to see his dream come true and you can imagine the type of happiness the person faces at that time similarly one more incident in that book was mentioned that a person he said that i was not getting um getting a visa for a particular country so he said that i was a firm believer of this that if you are imagining the things you will definitely get it so he said from that day onwards i was feeling he said that start feeling that you get that thing he was feeling that he got very visa finally what he did he has packed all his clothes and put in a uh, put in a you can say suitcase and he has put it aside as daily he was watching that suitcase that now in this morning uh, i'm going to take my suitcase out and i'm going to board the plane <clears throat> so what he said within 3 to 4 months i got my visa to that country which seems to be impossible for me this is how it works according to that book so i think that idea which is being presented in that book is it is it is also applicable here in life also that girl jonzy who thought that my life has all together come to an end it is all together finished i am not getting anything more in my life but finally what has happened finally what has happened the life was with her always the thing was that she has lacked those eyes to see the situation it is only your perspective that matters she was lacking that perspective she did not have that perspective and it is because of this reason when she lacked that perspective she was losing her life so ultimately 
what is there in life it is only your perspective that matters if you are losing your perspective then what will happen if you are losing your perspective you are losing your life so this girl jonsi who was suffering from pneumonia she thought that this iv creeper when the last leaf daily one leaf was um, was being shed from this creeper and she thought that when this last leaf would fall down that would be the end of my day that would be my last day but what happened bearman the painter who came to know about his problem even the doctor said medication would not help her until and unless the person does not have the will power you know these doctors okay apart from getting this knowledge of medication apart from being studied from their studies they are always given some seminars they are also given education how to instill confidence in the patient if patient does not have the will power nobody can cure because your body it acts accordingly right so bearman when he has come to know about that problem that she is suffering from this kind of notion she has perceived the wrong notion in his mind he painted an artificial leaf fixed upon that ivy creeper he worked throughout the night and he was completely drenched in rain finally what was the result in cold weather if you are suffering from this kind of rain and you will definitely catch fever he also suffered from pneumonia and being an old age person he died but what he did he saved the life of a person that was really a masterpiece so this is the reason the name of the chapter is last leaf and the type of leaf he has created the work of art that he has produced is actually a masterpiece so this is question mostly asked what was bearman's masterpiece and why it was considered as a masterpiece you know the answer but the thing is that you don't find words to elaborate it how deep see the feelings are that what was bearman's masterpiece what was bearman's masterpiece simple line one word one line answer is there that bearman's masterpiece was the ivy leaf that he has painted to save jones's life but why it is considered as a masterpiece just just gather your thoughts and just elaborate it and you will find you will fall short of words it's such a deep feeling that you don't find appropriate words to explain that why it is considered as a masterpiece because it saved jones's life right so this question we are going to discuss in the end of this chapter very very heart touching chapter very beautiful chapter and one of the best chapter in class 9 very very beautiful chapter so what i always feel that these ncert books means very tailor made plan is there to include the chapters to inculcate the feelings to inculcate moral values what actually literature is it is your feel it's your feel about life what you feel what actually you what actual feeling you should have about life so they are trying to inculcate among children those good values so i always try to get a moral lesson from a chapter and try to imbibe it in your life so as you all know that last leaf is about the last leaf on the ivy creeper which jonsi thought that when this last leaf would fall that would be the last day of my life very short story but very heart touching one let us start with the story <coughs> oh, sorry it is autumn the wind is blowing hard and it is raining heavily so which season autumn season so this autumn season which is taken in the story it has symbolic meaning also how autumn season means shedding of leaves no sign of life life coming to an end this is this autumn season because the leaves are being shed this is one significance of autumn season but what is the other significance of this autumn season is that that it is related to jonsi who was feeling completely down and dumps she is feeling that my life is altogether going to an end 
okay and ultimately this autumn season is completely related to the background of this chapter okay that what kind of atmosphere that what kind of you can say sickly atmosphere is shown this autumn season is perfect in place so wind is blowing hard strong winds are blowing which is responsible for shedding of the leaves and it is raining heavily all the leaves on an ivy creeper have fallen except one all the leaves on the ivy creeper they have fallen down just one leaf was left ivy creeper means it's a sort of creeper you know creeper plants which cannot grow because their stems are not so strong they can stand erect this you have read in science they with the help of some strong plants they climb uh, at greater heights in order to grow naturally plants they grow higher and it is with the help of others so it's a creeper why doesn't the last leaf fall but all the leaves have fallen but why doesn't that last leaf has fallen this we are going to read in this story so bit of you can say a lot of introduction i have given you for this chapter now bit we are going to read today because we are getting short of time only 2 minutes are left so sue and johnsy two young artists shared a small flat the flat was on the third story of an old house so sue and johnsy the two young artists they were sharing a small flat this flat where it was situated it was on the third story of a house it means that this flat they were not alone living in, the, in that flat there were another persons also who are living but see imagine one thing that suppose in a colony there is a street in the street there are seven houses are you good in touch enough with all those seven houses no with one or two houses with whom you share your feelings with whom you feel comfortable so similarly like she she is living on the third story of a flat it means that not all the people in the flat they are aware about the situation why only bare men it means it is the feeling here inside your heart that makes you a master man this was bare men it's not only the riches you inherit it is the richness of heart that you pass on to other generations and that you pass on to other people that makes life good so johnsy fell very seriously ill in november she had pneumonia she would lie in her bed without moving just gazing out of the window so johnsy in november she fell seriously ill she did not have anything to eat she was feeling really very bad she was not able to wake up from her bed also enjoying the life is very far away thing what problem she was suffering from she was suffering from pneumonia she would lie in her bed without moving she was gazing outside the window she was just lying on her bed and just gazing out of the window sue her friend she became worried sue who was her true friend she became worried looking at her that daily if she would be sitting like that what would happen to her so she sent for the doctor although he came every day there was no change in johnsy's condition the doctor used to come daily but there was still no change in johnsy's condition so tomorrow we will continue further with this story and we will read this chapter so i'm going to stop here till now and the bell is over so tomorrow we will continue thank you